Hi, welcome back. I'm Tanya from Tanya's Witchy Kitchen. How are you today? This is the first episode of Tanya's Witchy Kitchen, Life with Spice. So it's just gonna be an in-between thing with the tea time one and then a spice one because there's just too much, too much to tell you. But anyway, so I thought this would make a great little side one in there. And we're actually in my kitchen today. Um, it's funny, you can't see all the soaps I have hiding up there. <laughs> that looks less cluttered. <laughs> but behind me is my counter, which my husband absolutely hates, um, with all my spices and my tinctures and my glycerin which needs to be strained. Um, yeah, all the things, all the jazz, all the vinegars. Yeah, that's my counter. Um, but anyway, yeah. So I decided that, you know, a lot of people like delving into the world of spice and um, cooking and how important these herbs and spices are to our bodies. Like, gosh, beneficial, right? Like who doesn't have inflammation? Who doesn't have, um, mm, what's a good word? Problems, right? We have a brain. The brain is, you know, our main functioning system, but our gut is the second brain to our bodies. Literally the second brain. So important, so important. And so the first spice set we're gonna do is one that is an every American kitchen and every restaurant you get to. Whoops, sorry. <laughs> I shoved my, shoved my phone or my camera. Um, it's salt and pepper. And I know it's so basic and you're just like, oh, you know, what the heck do I need to know about salt and pepper? Lots of things, lots of things. Um, don't take my word on it. Like check with your own practitioner, but We'll just, we'll just stick to the voodoo doctor. So when I refer to him, he's the, he's the voodoo doctor, okay? Now he tells me that uh, like sea salt, pink Himalayan salt, those do not raise your blood pressure because of the mineral content in them. I don't know that for a fact, that's what he said. And I've also had a doctor, another doctor say that salt is so beneficial to our bodies. Good salt, okay? Processed salt versus good salt, okay? Two different things. But good salt is so important to our bodies because it actually carries electrons through our bloodstream. And um, my son was telling me just the other day, I don't know where he heard this in school, or wherever he's at, um, he said it's good for your heart, heart health. Now I know this totally contradicts everything you've heard about high blood pressure and, um, heart health and stuff like that. But then I think about things I hear about um, our water supplies and our food supplies and the food chain and how things work. And I just think, you know, questioning your, where your water comes from and what's in it, and questioning the food and what's in it, the medical is right there, right there, right after it. Question that also. So I don't know. I can't make that decision for you. I can't, you know, if you have a, a, a doctor you totally trust, um, you, you, go, you do what's good for you. You do what's best for you. Don't take my word on this. This is just my opinion. I'm not a doctor practitioner. We went through that already. Okay. But anyway, we're doing the basic salt and pepper and video for today. After this video comes out, um, two weeks after this, we will do another tea one, which I'm really looking forward to sharing with you. And then two weeks after that, we'll do another Life with Spice. Okay? Three things. I'm not stopping this. I'm going to continue to do this till I stop YouTubing. Three things. Dream big. I forgot it. <laughs> Dream big, be true to you, and you are worth it. 
every time. Let's go check out the video. Bye. Okay, salt and pepper. We're gonna start with pepper first. Um, pepper comes in many different varieties, but black peppercorns are the only ones that I actually own right now. Um, it used to be called black gold and was used for money and trading. Um, it has so many benefits. It's antibacterial, anti-inflammatory, antioxidant. It's um, circulatory stimulant. It's an expectorant. Um, so it supports your digestion. If you have belly complaints like bloating, indigestion, it's great for that. It stimulates your gastric muscles, juices, muscles. Oh my gosh, you guys. Dissolves mucus and drains your sinus congestion. It helps you absorb other nutrients of what you eat. It also contains manganese, which is good for bone health and wound healing and your metabolism. Bonus. Too much will upset your stomach. Okay? You can make it as a, in a tea for sore throats and coughs um, with ginger, lemon, um, whatever you want to put in there. also works in a ghee, um, in honeys, in oils, in pestos and salts and vinegars. I think you could do a tincture and a massage oil out of it too, um, but that's for, you know, your own experimentation and use. <laughs> so this is my um, spice grind or my pepper grinder, pepper mill. Um, they call them all sorts of things. My dad used to collect these and it's used for grinding the whole peppercorns into um, the tiny um it's not a powder. It's really hard. But most of them have the little knob on the top that you unscrew and you just fill in there like that. And this is ground. So, no. It's just finer. Right? And onto salt. I love that. That's a, that's a cool salt. But anyway, salt comes in many different varieties. Um, there's hundreds and hundreds of salts out there. I'm not, I'm not even going to get into all the different types because I, I have a few and that I want to share with you just those. And salt is basically used to balance the flavor in a dish and just make sure it's food grade. That's all I'm saying about that, food grade. Okay, so this is actually um, my canning and pickling salt. There's no iodine in this and there's no anti-caking agent in this okay which I think is important I don't think you need an anti-caking agent but they put it in a bunch of them this is rock salt which is used for ice cream um, you mix it with the ice it's super large crystals and you can also use it on icy sidewalks and steps so your puppy doesn't slide around all over <laughs> This next one is iodized salt. Um, look how tiny it is. This is the, the stuff people keep on their tables. Um, there is an anti-caking agent in it also, which do we really need? Hmm. And this one was interesting. This is kosher salt. It's used for uh, koshering meat. <laughs> also can be used on popcorn because it's got the big crystals. Um, no anti-caking agent, which... I was impressed with and yes I have all four of these in my pantry I do not know why however salt will last forever if stored properly forever so good tip this is pink Himalayan salt very fine um, uh, <laughs> fine grind and this is pink Himalayan salt that is um, medium to large I love, the, I just like looking at the, the crystals of it. I just find it fascinating. And this is a uh, sea salt, uh, Celtic sea salt specifically, but sea salt, which, you know, is totally evaporated from seawater, which I thought was super cool. And this, I just wanted to show you was some dead sea salt. Um, these are used, they could be food grade. Um, the ones I have, I use in my bath salts. So here is my pine needle salt. Um, it's like a ratio of a quarter cup pine needles to one to two cups salt, depending on what your ratio is. If you grind the pine needles and they're really, they were green um, and really stringy in the salt, just let them dry for like a week and then or two and then regrind them. You can use it on anything. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make a simple uh, citrus salt and um, 
black pepper blend that you can use on um you can use it on roasted veggies you can put it on meats you can use it on anything that you want that little bit of you know uh the pepper and the citrus you know to come through on um you know people come up with so many um concoctions and what they do with it and it's just um it's a, it's it's great it's great so i just thought this one uses the salt and the black pepper and then another component so um this is my cooking counter we're now on my cooking counter <laughs> food food grade cooking counter um okay so my my orange peel it's a quarter of a cup orange peel and my orange peel is a uh, very coarse as you can see um you could save your own you can save your own orange peel i do um but um just kind of want to make sure it's organic, especially in this case, depending on what you're doing. Um, let's see, this is cut and sifted. Certified organic orange peel from Frontier Co op. Um, I have other orange peel, and what I do with it is I actually make a vinegar, cleaning vinegar out of it, and maybe we'll do that another day. But I am just going to go. This is my spice grinder. It's a coffee grinder, but um, yeah, just spices go in this one, so I have to hide it from my husband. Um, but yeah, so I am just gonna go blend this up really quick so that it's kind of the same size as the other stuff. Um, this is the brush I use. I should get a better one. This is I should get a stiffer brush, um, just to kind of clean up my. Um, spice blender. I know I had cumin in here last because I ground some cumin for my daughter. Um, but a little bit of spice blending ain't gonna hurt anybody. If it was really bad, I'd wash it out, but otherwise, eh. Okay, so it's a quarter cup of. Oh, and I wasn't gonna dump it in there. Oh, well, I'll just use this. This is the soaper in me. Clean everything out. Down to the little bits. Okay. <laughs> okay. And then it's a tablespoon of ground black pepper, which is going to take me a little bit. What else could you do with this besides, you know, your veggies and your meats, which is typical, you know. Um, you could probably mix, take a little bit. Of it and mix it with an oil and vinegar and like put it on a salad that'd be really good or just sprinkle it on your salad but if you have digestive problems you know it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to get um more black pepper more um of the digestive um, herbs or spices into your diet. Um, I'm an impatient person. Actually, compared to my husband, I'm not an impatient person. That's about a half. Okay. But uh, when it comes to certain things, I get impatient. But I guess, I mean, that's everybody, right? To a degree. And okay, maybe one of my brothers. One of my brothers is so laid back. There's a couple of them that are really laid back. I don't know if they get impatient about anything, but this might have to do. Okay, we're gonna mix up half a batch. How's that? I'm just gonna take this off. And should have weighed it. That probably is, probably is a, uh, since mine was so coarse. So, qu a quarter cup, very fine orange peel. And then we'll go half a tablespoon. 
see me improvise, um, black pepper. And then I'm going to use my pink um, Himalayan salt, the fine salt. I'm not going to show you the brand because this brand, well, this is a good brand, but this isn't the brand that's in here. <laughs> uh, sorry, but this is a good brand. I bought it on Vitacost. Um, okay. And so I need, we're doing half. So I need just one tablespoon of my salt. Okay. And you just mix it up. And the key to using these, like my pine salt is right, I store my pine salt right beside my, um, right beside my regular salt. So sometimes I'm like, oh, pine salt sound co sounds good. You, you gotta use your intuition. You gotta, you gotta build your intuition when you're doing spices and stuff like that. Because sometimes I'm like, oh, we're gonna do the Himalayan. And then out of the blue, I'll be like grabbing it. And it's like, nope, we're gonna do the pine salt. Because sometimes if you listen to your body, it, it needs something. And you know, there's a reason it might be like, okay, but hold this on. Not when it's telling you to buy all the bags of Cadbury egg, ca or chocolate Cadbury eggs in the Easter section. Okay. No, that is not an, that's not your intuition telling you that. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay. But so what you want to do with this is to keep it with your other salts so that it's right there. So what you think about it and you can use it instead of your regular salt. Otherwise, if it's in a jar, put away in the cabinet, you won't even think about using it. See something with that. But see? Oh, it smells interesting. Oh, cool. Yeah. So there's the uh, citrus salt really easy to do um if you have your own if you buy an organic orange a lemon would be good in this oh yeah on fish oh that'd be good just an organic one peel it okay put it away but make sure it's got lots of air like i don't know if it takes a week or what but till it's crumbly dry and then just put it in your grinder and grind it up and you'll have your your, your little thing you don't need a whole 10 pound bag of oranges or whatever you just need one or two that was simple. And then the other one I want to do is, uh, this is from Mountain Rose Herbs and it was on their website. So you can go look it up on their blog. This next one is a joint support, um, salt blend. Like I said, from Mountain Rose Herbs. The first thing I, I want to tell you, though, is when you're adding a new herbal ingredient to your health regimen, okay? Like most of you have eaten oranges or whatever, so I wasn't worried about that one. Um, but do some research and consult your health care practitioner just because I don't know. Sorry about my camera. I don't know what your health concerns are. Um, sometimes uh, this contains turmeric. Here's my beautiful turmeric jar. Um, and some people can't have it for various reasons. Okay. Um, we're going to start with one teaspoon black pepper, which I ground already, so you don't have to watch me grind it. And one teaspoon of the pink Himalayan salt. Okay. Um, oh, crap. Oh, crap. I have to grind my, this is my ginger root. Can you see it? It's, um, so it's not, it's, uh, oh, what is that? It's, it's like shredded. It's not fine powder, um, which I like because when the kids make teas, you know, um, yeah, they actually drink ginger tea when they're desperate. Um, <laughs> okay. And then it's two tablespoons. Uh, no, two teaspoons. call that good um 
sorry, I heard a chicken and it sounded like a cat dying. But anyway, <laughs> um, yeah. So yeah, lose my train of thought. So I have to grind this really quick. This is just something, you know, you can put on anything you put salt and pepper on with a little bit of herbal aid to it. Okay, hang tight. I think my dog left. Um, you know, but there's so many benefits of salt and so many different benefits of black pepper. Um, and so many different benefits of ginger root and turmeric. Okay. So yeah, it's, it's anti, you know, this is supposed to be, it's probably the anti-inflammatory parts of it. Um, I'm sure that's what they're looking at, but I mean, you know, there's so many other health benefits you can get out of it that, you know, you know. so, but this is what, you know, Mountain Rose Herbs calls it their joint, joint health blend. And they have a good, you know, like I said, um, consult a doctor if you've never eaten turmeric or something, you know, in your life. But this is just your, you know, it makes this little small batch. You know, you're not going to use the whole thing. I mean, you could probably put this, a teaspoon in soup, a pot of soup, you know. But otherwise, just, you know, sprinkle it on. Um, or drink it as a tea. Um, they have a good ratio though. If you're going to do herbs, do a 30% salt to verb, to verb. <laughs> I'm a language teacher. No kidding. 30% salt to herb ratio, you know, basil, a basil salt or an oregano salt or basil, oregano and cumin and salt. And, you know, so don't, there's no wrong right or wrong answer in any of this, okay? No right or wrong, I don't want you to think that. Okay, now, there's a couple things I wanted to show you. This is, this is ghee, okay? All ghee is is the clarified butter. And there's ways to make it, go online. You can make it with your own little stick of butter, okay? I just wanted to show you that because then I was going to show you this is my digestive ghee. Digestive ghee. So I'll look at it like this. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go back, Lois. Okay. You can put this. So ghee is just butter, right? Um, so depending on what you mix it with, um, you can put it on, you can put it in your coffee. Believe me, I know. I have this one, which is um, cinnamon, clove, allspice. You can put it on French toast, muffins, or coffee. Believe me, I've done it. <laughs> okay, so this is a, so my di digestive ghee, um, rice, fish, um, in a tea, because it's digestive, you know, in a tea. And you can do that with pepper. You don't need the salt in there per se, but you could just take your ghee and pepper and you could use that on items. Okay, I'm out of my, uh, what is it? It's juniper, bay leaf, and black pepper um, vinegar. I'm out of it, okay? So, <laughs> you, what you can do with is mix your herbs and your spices in just a white wine vinegar or an apple cider vinegar. And don't think that apple cider vinegar is going bad because apple cider vinegar has the, quote, mother, unquote, and that is the little floaty thing in there, and that's the thing that's so good for you. Um, but you can mix your um, black pepper and make a vinegar out of it, okay? So, because um, I know I touched on it a little bit, but um, basically infuse it in a, I do glass jars, I don't keep it in here. I just use this to reuse and put my other ones in there. Um, but keep it in there for two to four weeks. If you want it really heavy, I think it's two weeks is a good ratio, but um, two to four weeks and then, and then 
technically you don't have to strain off the herbs in the vinegar unless it's something that you um is chunky like dandelion and burdock but we'll talk about that when we talk about those things so yeah so when they talk about you know putting it in a ghee or putting it in a in a a, a vinegar that's what they're you know talking about just put the pepper in there infuse it give it you know get it you can put it in honey and, and so that's what I touched on earlier was, you know, so yeah. If you have any questions, hit me down below. Um, if you're interested in making your, using your herbs and spices in a more in-depth way, I recommend this book, The Herbal Kitchen by Cammie McBride. She goes into major, major depth on each herb and what you can do with it. And it's a really, really good book. I'll try and link it below. And that is the end of our salt and pepper video. I hope you had a good time. Thanks for stopping by. You have a great day. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.